Hey again everybody, this is Andy from StarWars.com here at Lucasfilm headquarters to give you an inside look at Empire Day, the newest episode of Star Wars Rebels where our crew crashes an Imperial celebration. This is Rebels Recon. Ezra is troubled and unable to let go of a deep anger reinforced by Empire Day, his birthday. Where do you think you're going? I just need to be alone. Today's brought back some memories. After derailing the Imperial celebration, Ezra brings the crew to his childhood home. There, he faces unanswered questions from the past and finds an old friend wanted by the Empire. The secrets in his head must be damaging to the Empire. Gotta smuggle him out of town first. With the Inquisitor closing in, Ezra learns that a long lost truth may be in reach. He says he knows what happened to your parents. At the Art and Science of Lucasfilm panel, the Rebels team spoke to local students about the creation of the series. This week, we'll show you highlights from Keith Kellogg's talk on animation. So this is what Kanan and Chopper look like in 3D. And from that stage, we have to create a virtual skeleton. So we basically go in and figure out where all the joint positions are going to be. We then set up all those different little like circles and squares and things. That's what the animator is going to grab and move. So they'll take where that wrist is and they'll pull that up and they'll animate the fact that it looks like he's waving or doing something. From there, we do a calisthenics pass. And the reason is to make sure that they can perform on screen. We got to make sure that you don't have different pinching and the geometry in different spots. Then we go through his face. You can see all the controls over there. There's brows, eyes, mouth, nose. This is a walk cycle. And this is the next thing we put our characters through. And then we do the same thing with a run. So we get our characters moving for the first time and see how they can act and see how they can move. Much like the Empire dominates the airwaves on Lothal, they're taking over this week's recon. Get to know a little more about the military regime and their propaganda in this week's Deep Dive. In the Empire Day Parade, mm -hmm. we see a lot of citizens who seem to be genuinely happy mm -hmm. and celebrating the Empire. What do you think the average citizen thinks about the, the Empire's new presence on the planet? One thing I, I know is that at the end of the Clone Wars, the Empire was a celebrated thing. But over time, it becomes clear that the Empire is representing fear. You know, I think for some people who are just trying to make it by day to day, they feel like what the Emperor is promising, the stability and the security of the galaxy is something they're willing to exchange for maybe some of the freedoms they had before. And a lot of those people are just probably there just because you have to be there. It's the law that you attend this parade. It was a challenging scene to do, especially that the rebels kind of attacked during this celebration. I don't think our rebel crew would have wanted to actually hurt any of the bystanders there, but they are trying to just display that the Empire doesn't have as much control as they would like everyone to believe. You can notice if you listen to the music, one of my favorite things in that scene is I asked Kevin Kiner to take the Imperial March that we've always heard. It's I kind of a foreboding thing. I think it's not really happy. <laughs> Make it like a great march that uh, you know you would hear in a parade, and I thought he just nailed it. You used to run the old Holonet News website, and now Holonet News plays a pretty big role in Rebels. Did you have anything to do with that? <laughs> um, maybe. We knew that media would play a large role in the Rebels storyline. People have different perspectives of what the Empire is, and those who like it, a lot of that opinion is fueled by things that the Empire is definitely broadcasting out to the world. Even if something blew up, you know, they exploded some local population or decimated something. Good news! <laughs> and then we wanted kind of like one of those fake charismatic voices that actually Steve Bloom, who plays Zeb, does. Steve Bloom does Alton Castle. Alton Castle, That's awesome. Yeah. Each week, we take your questions about Star Wars Rebels. And as always, the story group's Pablo Hidalgo has your answer. All right, Pablo, so we have another question for you this week. 1138 asks, hey Rebels Recon, are Fearnox and Minox related? Maybe all they wanted was their power cables. Hashtag misunderstood. Uh, let's see, are they related? I don't think biologically, because uh, what little we know about Minox and what little we know about Fearnox suggests that they're not any way genetically related, but their names are very similar. The way it came about, though, is one of the names that we pitched for the Fearnox before it became the Fearnox was a Noct Fear, which is kind of a weird way to say Night Terror. 
But when Dave saw it, he just said, you know what, flip the syllables around, make it Fear Knock. So you could still kind of detect the original name in there, but Star Wars creatures aren't necessarily known for their nuanced names. So <laughs> there you go. Great. Thank you, Pablo. Have a question about Star Wars Rebels? Tweet it to at Star Wars with the hashtag Rebels Recon, and we'll choose a question to answer next week. Next Monday's episode, Gathering Forces, picks up right where Empire Day left off. Here's your sneak preview. Quite a ship. Nav computer's offline. We chop her down, I need you to fix it. Not exactly my specialty. Well, make it your specialty and make it fast. Or this shit becomes a real ghost. Thanks for watching Rebels Recon. You can catch Gathering Forces at its regular time next Monday on Disney XD, or you can see it right now on WatchDisneyXD.com or the Watch Disney XD app. Until next week, check out episode guides, trivia, and more only on StarWars.com. This is Andy from StarWars.com here at the Lucasfilm headquarters to take you behind the scenes of the newest Star Wars Rebels episode, Out of Darkness, where Sabine and Hera run into a little trouble off ship. This is